You look good in a minivan, dude. Thank you. you <laughs> see this? Yeah. Soccer mom man. <laughs> uh, you just you good. Uh, that needs to go in the back. That needs that can be up. Spring break forever, baby. You look like Britney Spears. Good morning, everybody. Another day in the life. Huh? Another day in the life. It is another day in the life that we should be blessed for. Alright. We gonna do this! It looked like somebody was in the passenger seat. We got Joe here. Hold on one time. Oh, that's kind of scary. I thought somebody was with you. Why? Oh, f <laughs> I didn't even see that. You didn't see that? No. <laughs> we'll put that in the middle. And do that Silverado up front. The Silverado is just the back half, double A. Double A. Yeah. Okay, that is the back. Over. So overlay it. And then get the Mazda. And then get the Sierra. You ever get nervous working on these kind of cars? Nah. No? I love working on these cars. Why? So they're hard. Not really hard, but they're intimidating to people. And who doesn't want to work on a Ferrari? What was your dream car you worked on here? Dream like car? Oh, that, uh, that you've seen here. A white Porsche 992 Turbo S. Oh, yeah. What are y'all doing in this car? Uh, this car, we're removing and reinstalling the front two doors to make them darker. Oh, nice. Um, adding windshield XR Plus 30%. So it's going to be very, very private. Very good customer of ours. Last week, he brought a ghost with the Mandarin interior. So, he comes actually all the way from Keller, Keller, Texas. So, and if you ask him, he takes his cars, his normal cars, to a uh, tin shot up over there, and he brings his expensive cars here. Nice. Yeah, this is his fourth vehicle here. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Just go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots around my neck. Self-respect. Out of line, you put yourself in check. Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> now here's David with all the information. Yeah, you know, Rolando isn't a big Ford guy, so that's why he passed it on to me. <laughs> well, if it was a Tahoe, would oh, you talk yeah. about it? Oh yeah, suspension, suspension, <laughs> motor. Hey, true. What's in your pouch? A lot of cool stuff. What you got? We got the um, Fusion Five. Okay. With the Crush. Oh, nice. Orange Crush. <laughs> then we got. Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is with the handle. This is just 
to move and maneuver around. This is my favorite tool right here. It's, it's real good for edges. Okay. For I see you have something on the edges. What is that? Oh, this is a uh, Teflon tape. Teflon to, tape. So it won't scratch up the film. So that's your favorite tool? Yeah, that's my favorite tool. What's your, so that's the most used tool they use out of all these? Out of all, out of all huh? these? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, when I squeeze you the, the glass, Yeah. it's this one. It's that one. When I get into the edges, it's this one. Okay, cool, cool. No. How's it going? So I told him let's do good window tint on it and the key just pop in and lock. Just put the key in right there. Yep, on both sides. And this right has got like here. a little reverse prop here. Okay, I'll let it go down. Usually the key tool. Okay. And you just push this in right here. You put the prop on it. I did find it funny though that the car it had to have started as like a white Huracan before Lamborghini did it. <laughs> but because all the chassis rails are washed. Oh. Or whatever. Yeah, just painted it. Even in the back. Same way. This one, he wants to do this like a stock motor package on like 13, 1500. That's crazy. That's the new normal now. Where was that all my life? <laughs> yeah. Holster. Yeah, I heard it dry. This thing's cool. If it had a nickname, I would name it like Purple Sunrise or something like that. Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Not a big. What is this exotic car? Yeah, not yeah. But the color makes it a lot better. What's your favorite car, Anthony? As of right now, it's probably those Broncos, the hard tops. So would you rather have this or hard top Bronco? A hard top Bronco, because I can put my groceries in there, my dog, people in the back. You don't want to put your dog and your groceries in here? No. Think you can fit your groceries in there? Probably not. <laughs> no. That's the main reason why. <coughs> hey, these aren't for everybody. Anthony likes his SUVs. So we just completed the 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EV. It just got a full stealth paint protection film. Jared's about to see it complete for the first time. Oh man. We're gonna unveil it right now. What do you think, Jared? Here it comes. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. Wow. That's just incredible. I love the finish of it. That looks so cool. Look at the way the light reflects off of it with stealth. That's awesome. And the window tint too. You know, this car didn't have any window tint at all. And that alone like really changes the look, but having a full stealth wrap, this is crazy. You know, I was doing a lot of um, you know research around and no, no bolt owner anywhere in the whole planet has ever done this. So. We are really truly looking at the first ever Expel Stealth Wrap Bolt. And um, 
David, you're saying the team, um, they had to bulk a lot of it because there's no patterns for basically from the doors back. You just had to figure it out. Right. We had to take a, a roll of film because the actual program didn't have patterns for this whole vehicle, just the full front. So we had to customize patterns for it. So it did take us a few extra days, but we put a lot of love and in, in our soul into this vehicle. Uh, yeah. I, you know, and I, that's, I appreciate that so much because, you know, I knew when I was asking him that it was going to be something that's never been done before and therefore is even harder and more time consuming. And, you know, and the, the Expel software has a lot of patterns. I think it's something like 50, 60,000, something maybe more, but they don't have this. So this is a pretty uncommon car. It's the cheapest EV in the world, which is a whole nother fun thing. But to have the whole car stealth, stealth wrap like this really makes it look science fiction. And it's not just for looks, that's the great thing. It's this PPF, this is functional self-healing automotive armor. So now I have the peace of mind driving my new car around that if I'm taking on bugs or little rock chips or debris, that my paint's not gonna be damaged, that that is gonna uh, take the hits and absorb it. And if that gets damaged, I can have one little panel peeled off from a place right here at Tritech, and I don't have to take the whole car in and get it resprayed. So the car's gonna look really just like this, so long as I take care of it for years and years. So I'm so happy with this. This couldn't have came out better. Thank you so much, David. You're welcome. Man, the whole team, this is crazy. Yeah. I, can't, I couldn't be happier with it. I'm glad you love it. And guys, this is not a wrap. This is actually a paint protection film. This car was not satin before, it was glossy, and the Expel Stealth is a paint protection fill that made it satin. So it is not wrapped, it is a high quality, self-healing product. Thank you for letting us do this for you, Jared. Yeah, this is great. And uh, I can't wait to, wait to see you down the road. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll see me just flying by 200 miles an hour. Just kidding, it, it, it speed limits at 91, that's all right. <laughs>